Today, let's discuss the art of ancient Egypt. It is the art which reflects religion and their belief in the afterlife. So, where and when the art of ancient Egypt occur? So, it says here, it is located in the Nile River Valley of the Africa and started during the year 4000 BCE until 3000 BCE. Now, let's proceed of what does the community of ancient Egypt were made of. So, we have here, the communities were made up of soldiers, slaves, priests, scribes, artists and craftsmen, farmers and herdsmen, pharaohs and queens, and gods and goddesses. Now, let's talk about their leader. So, they are called pharaohs. So, the leader was called a pharaoh. The pharaoh was believed to be half man and half god. Then, the afterlife of the pharaoh is an important theme in an ancient Egyptian art. Now, let's have the what question. So, what are the arts of the ancient Egypt? So, the greatest architectural achievements of the ancient Egyptians were the pyramids. Pyramids were built as tombs for the pharaohs. The pyramids contained the items that the Egyptians believed that the pharaoh would need in the afterlife. Much of the ancient Egyptian art that remains today was preserved in the pyramids. After that, we have here the other art created by ancient Egyptians. So, these are the other art created by the Egyptians. So, Egyptian people had rich culture and loved to make art. The Egyptian people also made statues, relief carvings, paintings, pottery, jewelry, sculptures, and even coffins. Most ancient Egyptian art is found buried in the ground or found in ancient Egyptian pyramids. Now, let's talk about the three purposes for art. So, Egypt is said to be have the first great art style and the purposes of it are first the art for the home, next is art for the gods, and art for the dead. And their paintings has the strict rules to follow. First is to, the paintings had to have side view of the feet, front view of the shoulders, side view of the head, and the last one is the front view of the one eye. So let's take a look on their paintings. So the painting was often narrative which means it told the story. This painting shows a cow being slaughtered and then taken to the king to be eaten. We also have here a painting that shows the king doing a little hunting while in his boat. His queen and his servant are with him. So we have here a symbol. This is an ankh and this is a symbol that means life. You would find it in many paintings. So, we have here an example of sculpture. So, Egyptian sculpture also had many rules. So, we have here first, no emotion, black light, fist clinch, basic positions like sitting or standing, web of stone between legs and between arms and body, and then left foot forward. Now let's proceed to the next 
which is the King Tutankhamen or the what we call Tut. It is called also as the boy king. He came into power when he was 8 or 9 and died 10 years later. His death was caused by a blow to the head. So we have here also another side or another side of the King Tutankhamen. This tomb was found in Valley of the King dated back 1327 BCE. The inner coffin is made from hundreds of pounds of gold and decorated with colored enamel and gemstone. So we have the bodies of the kings were mummified, the organs were placed in jars, the brain was taken out through the nose with a long hook, the body was dried in salt, then soaked in oils, wrapped in mummy cloth, coated with wax, face painted on it, and the body was then placed in a stone box called a sarcophagus. So these are the procedures on how they preserve the tomb or the mummies of their kings. Now let's proceed to the Egyptian belief. The Egyptians had a strong belief in the afterlife. They called their soul as Ka. Then they built an entire city for the dead called a necropolis. The dead enjoyed life just like they did in their earthly life. So that's are the belief of the Egyptian. Now let's talk about the pyramids in Egypt. So it says here there are approximately 100 pyramids in Egypt. A pyramid was built to be the tomb of a king. Secret chambers in the pyramid held the king's mummy, coffins, and special items from the king's afterlife. Ancient Egyptian people believe the pyramid connected the sky and the earth. So, we have here first the step pyramid. It is designed by Imhotep, the first known architect or artist. Next, we have here the Great Pyramid of Cheops. So, it is 775 feet in length and 450 feet height. It covered 13 acres over 2 million stones and each stone weighing 21 over 2 tons. So, the first pyramid was built for King Zoser. It was a step pyramid. It was designed and built by an artist and architect named Imhotep. Imhotep is the first architect whose name is recorded in history. This pyramid was built about 2600 BCE. Now let's talk about what the pyramid made of. So the pyramids were built using blocks of stone. Originally, the exterior of the pyramids had a smooth quality. However, due to time, wind, weather, and etc., this smooth facade has worn away. You can see a small remainder of the facade on the photo to the top left. Now, let's talk about the Egypt El Giza or the what we call Great Pyramid. It is also known as Pyramid of Cheops of or Khufu's Pyramid. So it is in the year 2600-2480 BCE. The base of the pyramid covers about 18 acres to build the Great Pyramid. It took and about 2,000 or 2 million 300,000 dressed stone blocks averaging 2.5 tons each 
more than any other structure ever built. The blocks were moved on log rollers and sledges and then rammed into place. Now let's take a look at the size of these pyramids compared to the size of the people below. The Great Pyramid was originally 481 feet high and each side was 756 feet long. So now we have here the inside of the pyramid. So we have here the cell hold of original facing stone, the false stamp chamber, the entrance, the so-called queen's chamber, thieves cha tunnels, grand gallery, air shaft, relieving blocks, king's chamber. So these are the parts of the pyramids or the inside of the pyramid. Now let's proceed to the other Egyptian architectural structures. So the ancient Egyptians also built beautiful temples. So this temple is the temple of Ra. Now we have here the inside of the temple of Ra. Next is the Sphinx. So the Sphinx is another example of a pharaoh or the Kafre demonstrating his power. The massive size and the head of Pharaoh Kafre on the body of a lion was intended to demonstrate the power of the Pharaoh. Carved from stone at the side and stands at 65 feet tall. Now we have here the other Egyptian architectural structure. This is the Temple of Queen Hatshepsut in the year 1478 to 1458 BCE. Next is the Temple of Ramses II in the year 1275 to 1213 BCE. We have here the interior temple of Ramses II. So the other art and structure of the ancient Egyptian art were found in your book Abiva, Power Up with Mafe 9.